following the Prime Minister dismissing Finance Minister Slavko Linic yesterday, saying he no longer trusts him for the position, a new Finance Minister, Boris Lalovac, who's been Linic's deputy, is named. Slavko Linic was sacked just a day after the Uskok Anti-Corruption Agency launched an investigation into the Spachva company pre-bankruptcy procedure. Linic is vowing to respond to the Prime Minister after the completion of the EU elections on March 25th. The dismissal of the finance minister is to be at the focus of the SDP presidency meeting later this afternoon. The SDP branch in Rijeka, the branch that the former finance minister Slav Kolinic comes from, had expressed its dissatisfaction with the way that the popular minister was sacked. The Ekame Vojko Obersnel described the way the dismissal was carried out without a prior meeting with SDP officials as unfair and inhumane. President Ivo Josipovic has also commented on the latest events, saying that he was concerned over the recurring clashes within the ruling structures, as well as the way they are portrayed in the media. Josipovic stressed that he was also worried about senior officials being frequently scrutinized by the judiciary, which clearly spoke of certain problems, and stressed that he was also worried about the state of the rule of law and legal security. The main opposition party leader, Croatian Democratic Union's Tomislav Karamarko, has described the current events as things going from bad to worse and just falling apart. Journalist Yasmina Popovic said in a Croatian radio show this morning that former finance minister Linic should say whether he was leaving the Social Democrats and it should be made clear what Linic's future within the Social Democrats was going to be if he is not. While in the same show, political analyst Ivan Rimac said that it was obvious that over the years of him being at the helm of the Social Democrats, current Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic has been rejecting and isolating certain members of the party and was in this way creating a party of yes-men who will support all of his decisions. Meanwhile, the coastal port of Split is marking the day of its patron saint today, the day of St. Dominus, who was a third century bishop of Salona, as the city was then known. The day is marked by a procession through the city streets and mass being held in the city's port. Take a quick look at sports. The first game of the Croatian Football Cup will be held today with Dinamo Zagreb playing host to Rijeka at 6 p.m. And the weather for the rest of the day. Partly to mostly sunny in the east and south of the country. Cloud buildup expected towards the end of the day with the possibility of rain in the northern Adriatic and at high elevations in the north. The rain to spread to most of the interior parts of the country overnight, once mostly moderate southwesterly and westerly. The Adriatic to see moderate southeasterly and southwesterly winds see slight to moderate afternoon temperatures to range between 20 and 24 degrees.